So you have a clunking noise in your vehicle. You want to know where the noise is coming from and determine whether it's something you need to replace right away. Let's take a look at this vehicle and figure it out. Before we put the vehicle up in the air, one thing you can do is just shake the vehicle. Try to manipulate the noise the best you can. You might even have multiple people bouncing on the vehicle. See if you can determine whether it's coming from the right or the left. Drive the vehicle around, try to duplicate the noise and determine whether it's coming from the front of the vehicle or the back of the vehicle. Sometimes it helps if you have someone in the back seat seeing if they hear the noise coming from the back. No, nothing back here, it's gotta be up front. If you are able to create the noise and it seems like it's coming from up high, you can open the hood and put your hand on the strut cap while you're going up and down. It might be a bad strut mount or even a bad strut which if you need replacement parts, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. With the tires off the ground, you wanna give the wheels a shake, see if there's any play or any looseness. That could be causing a rattle or a clunk noise because there's worn components. I'm just gonna grab the tire on both sides, give it a shake, and almost using just your fingers and see if there's any play. If you give it a hard wiggle, that noise is actually coming from the steering wheel back and forth, so. Sometimes you don't want to go too hard, but if you feel any play there, then that's not good. And then the top and the bottom, give it a shake, and everything seems tight there. When we're checking the side-to-side -side play, we're looking for the tie rods, seeing if there's any play in the tie rods, inner and outer. And then when we're checking the up and down play, that's checking the wheel bearings, but also the lower ball joint and sometimes upper ball joint, depending on your vehicle. We want to take a good look at the control arm bushings, which could be a source of a rattle or a clunk located right here. They're connecting the body of the vehicle to the lower control arm. Now, this bushing itself doesn't look great. It looks like the rubber is a little bit worn. If we take a pry bar and just pry, there's really not a lot of movement there on both sides. really not moving that much. You can see if the control arm bushing looks like it's almost falling apart or falling out, that could be a good source of a clunk or a rattle. At this point, you're getting frustrated because you've checked out all the major front end components and you haven't found anything loose, nothing that's gonna be causing that rattle. Well, you haven't checked out the sway bar link and bushings yet, so let's check those out. Right here, you have your sway bar and it's connected to the link. And if you grab the sway bar and just give it a wiggle, you may notice that there's some play there, or you may even have to grab a pry bar and just pry down. And you can notice there's play there. That's where our noise is coming from. We know that's bad, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that. And it's always a good idea to do those in pairs because once one side goes, the other side's not far behind. One other thing we'd like to look at that could be causing a noise is the sway bar bushings. They're located right here. And if these are extremely worn, you're gonna have those rubbing on the clamp or rubbing on the body, the bar itself, and that's gonna give you tons of noise while you're going down the road. Taking a look at these, these look good. You can give them a wiggle or even taking a pry bar and prying the sway bar itself. They don't move at all, so these are good. So let's go ahead and replace those sway bar links. There you go. That's a quick and easy repair. Sway bar links, when they're bad, can sound horrible. You can sound like the whole front end of your vehicle is falling apart when really they're not that bad to replace. So get those or any of the other components that we talked about for your car or truck at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.